So we'll need to re-collapse this, put this in a vise or a C-clamp and slowly compress this down. I think I have a video on compressing these. Maybe I have a selection of keys from days of old or a drill bit that will fit through the holes and I'll hold it in place. You want to hold it in place and this will be the once your time marks are lined up then you can pull this pin and uh, let the tension tensioner do its job on the timing belt. So the tensioner is loose and your timing marks are lined up so you can just take the belt off. Like so. The belt's off. The water pump is right here, 10 millimeter bolts. And you might have to loosen up this cover, 14 millimeter bolt in here, and take that off. You might have to loosen these up, maybe pull the shield off a little bit to get the water pump out. The other trick is to take these two things out. They might not be in there that hard. Maybe have a vice grip on here and get those off. It'll and you can tuck it and twist it and you don't have to worry about sliding it straight off and get it out from underneath the shield. Otherwise if you have these reverse bits here, I call them reverse Torx bits, E8. Fits on here okay and you can uh, take it off that way with the E8. Alright, I got this black cover off because that's how I'm doing it. These bolts are probably in at about 110, 120. They were pretty hard to break loose. And I don't really recommend you do the job uh, with that unless you have a good way to hold them. We have a special tool for holding those right here. So I recommend that you maybe try and loosen up all these 10 millimeter bolts through the holes in the pulleys that I talk about and then also uh, take those two studs out and I think you'll be able to and take this off too, 14 millimeters, see that? you probably take that one off and then this might give you enough flexibility and take those two studs out and you can weasel that water pump out this way that's what I'm hoping and believing for you because these are pretty tough to get off, 17 millimeter bolts so and then we can line up our marks, I'll show you how it works like that Oof. Over here, I've not highlighted it yet with white out, but you can see the notch right here and a white line on this one. So when your marks are lined up, it'll look like that. So I hope this is giving you a good picture of what it's supposed to look like when your marks are lined up on the camshaft pulleys. Go ahead and take the water pump bolts off. We got some bolts and a couple nuts on the back side. Ooh, it looks like three nuts on the back side. And actually we need to remove the tensioner. So I'll do things in a little bit backwards order. I'm gonna get all the bolts I can and then we'll get down to the tensioner and get that out. Just look at it. So this is a ten millimeter Allen. I go down here in this hole. So we can uh, break loose the uh, bolt that holds the tensioner uh, pulley on here and also there probably is a washer in the back. I always want to make people aware of a washer in the back. So do not lose that washer. Look for it. It should be there. So hoping this will untuck for you behind that black cover that I took off. I don't necessarily think you have to do that. I think if you can loosen up all those bolts, which I've showed you, and take off the stud, you can get it. Got my collector underneath, and now we've just pulled off the water pump like that. Let it drain out the rest of the way, and we'll pull our water pump off. Come 
these off nice and neat. Our first original equipment uh, gasket is metal. There it goes, comes off nice and easy. Wipe that down with a rag. If you have a paper gasket, I'm sorry, but you need to scrape, uh, scrape it all off, probably, to put your new gasket on. I've heard about people, if they pull off a water pump or if they pull something off and the gasket stays on the vehicle nice and neat, I've heard of people just using a little bit of silicone on the water pump or whatever they're putting back on the vehicle and siliconing it and bolting it back up. Can't necessarily say I recommend that, but it certainly is an option. Uh, last resort. Got the new gasket on there and the new water pump. Three bolts, three nuts. About 71 inch pounds only, not really tight. So tighten them down and put our studs in and uh, start the process of putting it back together. Get your time marks lined up.